Hello everyone, welcome back to the Syntax UK YouTube channel. My name is Matt and today I'm back with another episode in our Syntax Explained series. In this episode, I'll be taking a look at another digital format, MADI. It might seem like there's a lot to cover with MADI, but hopefully by the end of this video, you'll feel confident about what it is and what it can do. There'll also be an additional video that shows you how to connect MADI devices as well as send audio between them. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you don't miss it. If you've watched episode four of Syntax Explains, I gave a brief explanation of the differences between analog and digital audio. Given that MADI is a digital audio format, I'll quickly go over this again, but if you already know this part, then feel free to skip through to the next section. Generally speaking, analog audio signals are used by devices that make or pick up sound. This could be things like microphones and speakers, as well as instruments like keyboards, analog synthesizers, and guitars. All of these devices use electrical signals to record or reproduce sound. Digital audio, on the other hand, stores and transports information as a series of ones and zeros, which are then understood by a computer or other digital device. In order for us to hear these signals, they will of course need to be converted back to an analog signal at some point in a process called digital to analog conversion or D2A. Before that though, keeping the audio signals as digital information has a range of benefits for multi-channel recording and playback in studio, live and broadcast environments. Alongside the obvious benefit of allowing us to use computers for recording and mixing, digital audio is great for transporting multiple channels of audio between different devices. This could be from a microphone preamp to an audio interface in the studio, for example, or from a stage box to a front of house console in a venue. A number of different digital formats exist for just this purpose and one of them is MADI. MADI is an acronym for Multi-Channel Audio Digital Interface and was first defined by the AES, that's the Audio Engineering Society, in 1991. Also known as AES-10, MADI is based on another format called AES-3 or AES-EBU, essentially grouping multiple AES-3 channels together down a single cable. The original MADI standard allowed up to 56 channels to be transported between devices. Through a couple of revisions in 2003 and 2008, we now have the MADI protocol that we know today, which is capable of sending 64 channels in each direction at 48 kilohertz sample rate and across distances of up to two kilometers depending on the cable, but more on that later. MADI is a simple and reliable point-to-point -point method of transporting audio from A to B with extremely low latencies and without the complexities of AOIP-based formats. This is why it remains a favourite of many recording engineers to this day. Like ADA, SPDIF and AES3, MADI signals are unidirectional. You send them from the output of one device to the input of another device and vice versa. This is different to AOIP based formats like Dante and Milan and AVB, which can simultaneously send and receive signals via a single ethernet cable, as well as from multiple sources. MADI devices can also be daisy chained to make the most of the full 64 channels available. Multiple devices can be connected in series, combining channels from each consecutive device into a single MADI stream. Given its ability to transport a high number of channels through a single cable, MADI is still very widely used through professional audio. It can be found on devices like mixing consoles, stage boxes, microphone preamps, ADDA converters, and audio interfaces. Anywhere there's a need for transporting lots of audio channels from one location to another, MADI offers a simple and reliable way of doing just that. Anything from recording studios, sending channels from one room to another, location sound recordists working on a live recording, Recording, live sound engineers working with signals from the stage box to front of house and broadcast audio engineers mixing live TV. RME Audio offers a wide variety of MADI solutions for exactly these purposes including ADDA converters and microphone preamps and the MADI format has been a favourite of the company for many years. This includes USB interfaces like the Fireface UFX3, MADI Face USB 
and MADI Face XT2, all of which allow us to get MADI signals in and out of a Mac or PC via USB, as well as internal PCIe cards like the HDSP E MADI and MADI FX, and HDSP E AOX series of cards. All of these channels can easily be managed by RME's Total Mix FX software, which provides control over all of the incoming and outgoing audio signals, as well as allowing you to create submixes to be sent back out to other devices. Several of Ferrofish's ADDA converters also feature MADI I.O., making it easy to add more analog inputs for recording mixers, synths and drum machines, as well as outputting to effects units and studio monitors. Modern MADI devices typically use one of two types of cabling. You have coaxial with BNC connectors, or you have optical fiber with LC or SC connections. Coaxial MADI uses 75 ohm cabling with BNC connectors and is generally limited to distances of up to 100 meters. Optical MADI cables on the other hand allow for much longer transmissions, up to two kilometers. And that makes them ideal for things like larger music venues and live events. The two most frequently found connector types on optical MADI cables are SC and LC connectors. SC connectors, known as standard or square connectors, are the larger type, whilst LC, also known as lucent or little connectors, are the smaller ones. Optical fiber cables come in single cables known as simplex, as well as dual cables called duplex, which is simply two simplex cables held together and can be split into two single cables. You'll often find both coaxial and optical connections on devices, giving you greater flexibility when it comes to connecting devices via MADI. This also allows for redundancy, which in audio terms is a backup connection that you can switch over to in case of a failure, and is something that is is commonly used in live sound and broadcast as a failsafe. Note that optical MADI connections can use what is known as single mode or multi mode fiber connections. Multi mode cables and connections are the most common, with single mode being a more specialist requirement that allows you to cover distances of even further than two kilometers. As single mode MADI is used far less often, it's generally safe to assume that you're using multi mode MADI connections and cabling unless it's otherwise specified. Some manufacturers choose to use SFPs for their MADI connections. Short for small form factor pluggable, SFPs are modular transceivers which can easily be inserted and removed, making it easy to swap them out for different types of connection. MADI typically supports widely used sample rates like 44.1 and 48 kHz, as well as 96 kHz and 192 kHz. It's worth noting though, as the sample rate goes up, you are effectively reducing the number of channels to half. So at 96 kHz, you will go from 64 channels to 32 channels available, and at 192 kHz, this is halved again to 16 channels. Some devices may have a setting called 96 6K frame or double frame mode, and this simply refers to operating at 96 kilohertz. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, MADI devices can be daisy chained, combining each device's audio channels into a single MADI string. This allows us to connect multiple devices together in series, so two 32 channel devices or four 16 channel devices to have access to the full 64 inputs in our recording software. We can send all 64 channels out of an interface into the first device and select a set of channels from the stream to convert to analog or even to another digital format if the connected device has that feature. The MADI stream is then forwarded onto the next device where we again select channels for conversion and so on. As MADI is a digital format, all of the devices in a MADI system need to be synced together via word clock. This synchronizes the timing of each device and involves a process of selecting a word clock master that all of the other devices sync to. In MADI systems, the clock can be sent via the MADI stream itself, 
or via a dedicated word clock signal, usually on BNC connections and coaxial cabling. An additional word clock signal therefore isn't required with MADI devices, although some engineers may still prefer to clock everything from a dedicated master clock, particularly in larger systems. Along with audio signals, some manufacturers provide the ability to send MIDI data over the MADI stream, known as MIDI over MADI. This is useful for sending control data to other devices. The gains on an RME12 mic preamp, for example, can be controlled with MIDI over MADI, and that's particularly useful for instances where devices are located at a distance from one another. MADI is also very useful for converting to other digital formats. The RME 12 Mic D and Digiface Dante, as well as the Ferrofish Pulse 16 DX and A32 Pro Dante, all allow you to convert from MADI to Dante. In this way, all the MADI channels are now available to devices on the network, as well as allowing you to send signals from the Dante network back to your MADI devices. The same is true for devices that feature AVB and Milan, like RME M1620 Pro, which allow you to bring analog, MADI and ADAT signals onto an AVB network. Then we have the Apsys Multiverter 2, a digital format converter that allows you to freely convert from MADI to a load of other digital formats like AES50, AES3, Dante and even ADAT. That's it for our introduction to MADI. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, then make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel to see all of our future content. And don't forget, I'll be bringing out that additional video where I show you how to set up, connect, and troubleshoot MADI connections using some devices from RME and Therafish. And if you want some more information on MADI, then check out the webpage linked in the description box below. Thanks very much, guys. I will see you again next time. Thank you.